I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep do not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and find the pastor. The thief coming not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, they might have it more abundantly. May God have a blessing to the just read scriptures. Let us pray. Be your heaven, gracious Father, this morning as we come as humble as we know how. Thank you in advance for the things that you have done and are doing in our life. Lord, we thank you on this morning for being God and being God all by yourself. Lord, we ask that you touch the sick and shut in. We ask that you touch the ones that's in with traveling grace and mercy that's in route to this location. Father God, we know that you can and only if you will. This morning, oh Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to uplift this, this building, uplift this family, this house of God. Father God, we ask that you continue to bless, bless, deliver, and set the captives free. Lord, we know that you can and only if you will. We ask that you continue to look over all the pastors in this city, oh Heavenly Father. Father God, continue to look over their families, oh Heavenly Father. Father God, we ask that you continue to give them the words so your people can hear. We know that you can as only if you will. We ask that you continue to anoint them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Father God, this morning we ask special prayers for healing for our own pastor. Oh Heavenly Father, we know that you can. It's only if you will. We believe, we touch, and agree. Father God, we know that you are the doctor. And we know that by your words, men can get up and walk, men can lay down and die. Father God, right now, we ask that you continue to bless this house. Father God, we ask that you continue to bless everyone that's under the sound of my voice and tuning in. Father God, in your darling son, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen.
Oh, oh, oh. 
And so today I only have a couple announcements. The women, the Living Words ladies, we had our self-care painting with the twist yesterday. It turned out to be wonderful. And so please, ladies, be on the lookout for our event next month. Also, remember that you can give via Givelifies, Givelifies, which is online. Um, you just scan the QR code on these little blue cards that should be in the back of the seat or be on the seat if you want. And that is the way that you can give to Pastor Thomas and Living Word all electronically. And also remember that Pastor Thomas will be speaking at One Way Ministries on February 27th, which is the fourth Sunday of this month at 11 o'clock. And so now we will have Sister Jenny to come do our Sunday school and then followed by our health awareness by Sissy. Amen. Ministry of Music. He 
gave himself to the study of the word of God and his law so that he could teach others to do the same. Ezra's habits should be copied by all Christians, for he committed himself to studying, doing, and teaching God's word to his people. Every believer is called to do the same. And this is our Sunday school day. Common head injury um, injuries include concussions, skull fractures, and scalp wounds. The consequences and treatments vary greatly depending on what causes the head injury and how severe it is. So some um, symptoms, mild symptoms of a head injury are um, headaches, lightheadedness, um, a spinning sensation, mild confusion, nausea, and ringing of the ears. Um, symptoms of a severe head injury include uh, some of the minor minor head injury uh, symptoms and it also can include um, loss of consciousness, seizures, vomiting, balance or coordination problems, being able to focus your eyes at normal eye movements, loss of muscle control, persist or worsening headache, memory loss, change in mood, and lastly a leaking of the clear fluid from your ears or your nose. So uh, if you just have a head injury, um, you know, always get checked out. You know, um, people say don't go to sleep because they can cause a concussion, but that's not true. They hit, you hit your head, that can cause a concussion, not going to sleep. Mm -hmm. So they want you to stay up to kind of like monitor your symptoms, uh, make sure that, you know, that you, you can't tell you about punches if you're asleep or if you're, you know, even if you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So that's why they want you to, um, you know, stay awake. Um, also, if you just feel, you know, like even have a headache, just get checked out because you just never know. And um, that's the health awareness for today. Man.
know sometimes when you, when you're going through life and you know you really don't deserve it. You know you done did some some bad thing. That's why I always tell people that I'm a saint. I just got sinner problems. But when I when I begin begin to realize that I have did some things that wasn't quite God like, I can say by the grace. chapter of the Song of Solomon. It says, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. As the lily among stones, so is my love among the daughters. As the apple tree among the trees of the woods, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banquet house, and his banner over me was love. Stay me with flang and comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand doth embrace me. I charge you, O ye daughter of Jerusalem, by the roe and by the hands, hen, hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, you stir not up, nor wake my love till he please. You may be seated. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Tomorrow is set aside for love. And I thought that it would be no more befitting to talk about love. The subject of the topic this morning I want to speak on I found a love. Topic, as the old preachers used to say, subtopic, love and happiness. That's right. But the first one you didn't catch because that's old Johnny Taylor. I found a love. You see, the book of Song of Solomon is all about love. It's all about the woman finding her man. But it also teaches us about God and the love he has for us. But my favorite part is love. 
I, and if anybody knows me, they know that I love to listen to blues. I love to listen to soul music. I love to listen to gospel, which is the truth. But I don't listen to gospel every day. I listen to a bunch of soul music, which is founded upon love which is founded upon somebody being brokenhearted and somebody recovering. Oh, I guess you say hey, that's a blues song, huh? Yeah, everybody had the blues. Everybody been through the blues. You may call it something else, but I, oh, I, I call it the blues. Yeah. But in the song, it says, I found a love. I found a love. And, and, and the way that Johnny Taylor puts it, he puts it in the way that that anybody can understand it. He said he was so excited that when he found this love, he, he was so excited that he had to shout about it. He had to tell everybody about it. He said, look, look what made, made John and Taylor tell, him, tell everybody about this. He said, the way she walked, the way she talked, he said, it set his soul on fire. Oh, my. I have one like that. The way she talk and the way she walk, it sets my soul on fire. But see, that's not, that's not, that's not the only thing that I had to think about my buddy, old Al. Al say, love and happiness. Now, this was the part I like. And he said, love will make you do right. Love will make you do wrong. <laughs> you see, if, if you ever been in love with somebody, if you ever been in, not, not what mama would call a puppy love, but, but, but if you ever been in real love, and, and you found somebody, you can say, I... I found the love because whatever love that, that he or she gave you, you understand that it, it will make you shout. It will make you hold hands. It will make you hug and cuddle. Yeah. It will make you do things you don't want to do. It will make you do things that you are very well pleased to do. I found a love. Here in the text, it, it, it the, the lady, she was, she was looking, looking for, for, for her man, but he, he started out and said, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. See, as a lily amongst thorns. You know what thorns are, don't you? You know what lilies are, don't you? The lilies are beautiful, big and pretty, but it also has that thorn on it. So if you don't watch how you... You, you, you pick it, 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 it'll stick you and it hurt you. That's love. No, no, love will sometimes hurt you. But I got another one for you. Bobby Blue Bland say, sometimes you got to lay love aside. Yeah. If love's going to hurt you, you got to, you know, lay, lay, just lay love aside. But, but, but when you find the love, come on, somebody. When you find a love. Let me take a station identification break. My family ain't here, not because they don't love me. Because they're in Dallas at the football game with Justin. So so I just want to let you know that my, they, they ain't leaving. Tomorrow Valentine's Day. <laughs> they, 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 they here. I, I'm not preaching this because I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with some love issues. I just, I just, the only love issues I'm dealing with is one. I love mine. You know, so so uh, you know, I know this uh, section over here is quite empty. You know, but but uh, they 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 in they tuning in. That's that's God forgive me for that lie. But uh, <laughs> I found a love. Now, when we are 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 traveling in this thing called life, and when we have have moved and 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 we have. Equated to the ups and downs of life, we have um, people that, that, that God say when a man finds a woman, he finds a good thing. Yeah. You know, so, so, and he leave his mother and, and his father, you know. 
but but when, when we find the love, we we find somebody that that that's gonna be with us when we have our issues. Uh, make it plain, okay? When we find somebody, we're gonna we're gonna find somebody that's gonna be with us when we misuse our funds. When we are stuck in the middle in the middle of nowhere. We, when we find the love, we're going to find the love that, that, that has the sweetest kiss. We're going to find the love that no matter how sometimes ugly we get, uh, sometimes the ugly words we say, they're still going to love us. But they're going to put us in our place, like, like mine. But, but they'll put you in your place, but they're still going to love you. When you're when your money gets funny and your change gets strange, if you married upon, that's not love. I just want you to know that. If you, you, you married for the love of money, then it's a different story. But if you marry and, and you love this woman or this man, and, and no matter what he's going through, the, the Bible says, for, for better or worse, to death do us part. But, but see, sometimes we get caught up. Somebody say caught up. We get caught up in this love affair. We get caught up because we have yet chased the, the, the ungodly of a woman. Come here, David, if you don't mind. David, yet, yet some may say David was a peaking tongue, but I would say I beg to differ. David was a, she was on the top of the roof bathing and, 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 and she said, and they were bathing on top of the roof, and David saw what he loved. David saw what he wanted. And, and, and but what David did, you see, he's going to go into this love and happiness. Love will make you do right, and love will make you do wrong. David, when he killed the man, that's the wrongness in love. Uh, that's the wrongness in love. But, but if you fast forward on over to Hosea, Hosea, when he got his his wife, he, no matter what she did, no matter what happened to her, no matter how many men she slept with, and no matter how many lies she told, holy when they got his woman. Now that's love. That's love. If you ask one of the brothers today, if, 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 if he sees his wife doing some ungodly things and some things that uh, he used to do to him, it changes his mind. And there won't be no Jose during this time. There won't be no Jose going and buying his wife from the auction block because I don't know if we have somebody that has that love so thick. Jose, his gomo, she was out and, and, and shelling herself and when she was all run down and had and all woe out. You know what I'm going to say. She was old and wore out, but 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 Hosea still went in and got his woman. That's love. That's love. That's that's the same thing that 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 God has for the church. Now, let me tell you how God loved the church. Now, the love that God has is the same as Hosea had for Gomer. It's the same that, that Hosea. When he, when, uh, when she was out doing the things that she was doing, come here, let me bring it, let me bring it a little closer. When you out in the club, or you doing your ungodly thing, I'm not gonna call them out, but when you're doing these things that you just don't, that, that you know it's not of God. Somebody say, of God. Of God. When you know it's not of God, you could say, say this with me. I did, did some ungodly thing. Say it one more time. I did, I did some ungodly thing. But yet, God still loves you. Man. Lord God. Think about sometimes that your boyfriend. You told your boyfriend this or told him that and he told you this and he told you that and you, you turned your back on him. Yeah. Think about the time that you, when you got in your bed, you ain't want to talk. You pulled your cover over your head and turned your back. Right, but yet God 
you did some things out in the open and you did some things that was not Christ-like. You, you walked off and you left him and you, you walked off and you left him and you walked off and denied him and did everything that you want to do, but yet you still call on him. Some of you think he's your sugar mama. Some of you think he's your sugar daddy. Some of you just don't know. But I stop to tell you that God is the love and happiness. The undying love that God has for us is unwavering. And so, in other words, no matter how far you try to leave him, no matter how far you think you're out by yourself, the only thing you got to do is say, Lord, help. It's almost like it's almost like when you got to got to use the restroom and the, the 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 toilet is on the other side of town or is on the other side of campus or is on the other side of the the, the place you're at and you got your dance going on. You ain't you ain't praying that 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 you 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 get to the you ain't praying that you get to that toilet in time. You you calling on the Lord, Lord, please. Let me get there. And, and when, when, you, when you finally get there, you, you got to dance because you got them old, you got them old Levi's that got all them buttons, and you're trying, you, you're trying to get them, and, and, and if you like me, you get your jeans starched, and, and you can't, and your fingers ain't, ain't that strong no more, so you can't hardly get them. I'm speaking in experience. But see, when, 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 but when you finally get that button, Open you the oh, thank you, Jesus. It's the same way that 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 God has when you, when you're walking and you're doing these things that you don't supposed to be doing, baby, and, and you're walking there and, and you're talking and you're doing your thing, you're walking on about your business. You're in the tight, you just don't know it. You you're in the tight. Some I remember, I remember one one time my grandmother she came in the house. She said I just pissed all over myself. Sometimes you're gonna pee all over yourself. Sometimes you're gonna do things that just, just, just not right. But God, he still loves you anyway. You see, when God had, had, had sent his only begotten son down to to, to die for us when he when he sent Jesus down, Jesus had to go through some terrible things. He had to go through these things that 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 caused him to to rethink the situation. Yeah, he rethought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he went through these things that the people that standing right there who say that they love him was denying him. The people that, that, that walked with him and they seen all the miracles. See, some baby, we've seen miracles in our time. We've seen people uh, get sick and get healed. We've seen doctors that turn their backs on them and say, there's nothing else they can do but miraculous. They got healed. We've seen people do all kinds. Come, come on, come on, somebody. We've seen, we've seen the modern day miracles. We, we have seen, but here the disciples that were with Jesus have saw Jesus do miracle after miracle. How many of you seen somebody get two fish and five loaves and, and have a buffet? Mm. <laughs> yeah, we we seen we seen we seen some mamas and, and, and make meals out of out, out of just nothing in the refrigerator hardly, but but how many of you seen them? To let everybody go home with something. The disciples seen Jesus and they seen him doing miracles after miracles. They seen him raise the dead. They seen him walking on water. Even being for them to walk on the water. But yet still they denied him. Yet still they didn't believe. Yet still they didn't have the faith. I go back to my topic. I found the love. The way he walked, the way he talked, it set my soul on fire. But I'm not talking about a man that's walking amongst us today. I'm talking about Jesus himself. 
the way he carries me, the way he chastised me. Oh, we don't like to be chastised in any way, but, but when Jesus chastised you, you can't do nothing else but shout about it. When he carried you through the heartaches and pains, when he carried you through something that, that your enemy said would destroy you, hey, I can't do nothing else but, but shout about it. I, I can't do nothing else but, but talk about it. When, when Johnny Taylor said he found his, his love, when the way she walked and the way she talked, it set his soul on fire. He, he said he had to tell everybody, baby, when I came to Christ, when I came to Christ, I, I had to tell the world, but the only thing about me telling the world when I came to Christ that some of my friends turned their back on me. Some of my friends didn't want to talk no more. Some of my so-called friends, some of you have a, 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 a loved one that, that don't want to talk to you no more because they, you say that you found Christ and, and they found Buddha. They don't want to talk to you no, no more because you found Christ, but, but they found Muhammad. Yeah, but, right. but I stop to tell you that, that my love and, and the love that Christ has for me, oh, it set my soul on fire. I can dance when I want to dance. I can sing and shout when I want to shout because I found the love. Right. The love that I have gave me love and happiness. You see, I agree, he said, love will make you do right. Love will make you do wrong. He said, on the phone, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm on my knees, 3 o'clock in the morning, talking to my love because he gave me love and happiness. Talking about my love because he make my rough ways smooth. Oh, I feel all right this morning. But talking about my love, he makes my high mountains easy to climb. Yeah. He makes my low valleys easy to trot. I found a love. Is there anybody else in here found a love? Yeah. I found a love that gives me peace in the midnight hour. Yeah. Yeah. I found a love that gives me joy in time of sorrow. Yeah. I found a love that makes me laugh when really ain't nothing else funny. Yes, oh, what type of love is that? No other love but the love of Christ. Oh, when I'm sick yeah, and I didn't think I can get well, I found a love. Yeah. When my money is funny, and my change is strange. My brothers and sisters can't help me, but I found a love. The Song of Solomon is nothing but love, but Christ's whole life is love. When we talk about Jesus and all he done for me, yeah, I can't think about nothing else but love. The sweetest love I know. I found a love. Woo, I found a love. I feel all right now. I feel like preaching in this place. But let me talk about love. Love. When I'm doing wrong. Love. When I don't want to talk to nobody.
church on today, thinking about the Super Bowl. Some of you still got the church on that you lost a long time ago. Some of you got the church on that was sitting home first round.
time with your time, man. familiar with his word. When he says no weapon formed. Yeah, yeah. He says that he is the healer. Yeah. He is the divine panacea. He will he will take all of your sorrows. Oh, yes, he will. And then when you can't just go any further, he says, now what I want you to do is look to the hill. From which cometh your help. All of your help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll seek you. Yeah. All of your help. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Gonna come from. Yeah. Gonna Thank come you. from the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I stand with joy, man. I, I'm not sad at all. Yeah. Thank you. Stand with joy that I'm still alive. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stand with joy that I did not have a stroke. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 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 And then when I look back over my life and the conscience, he just kept me, man. Lord God. Just kept me. So I thank God this morning. Amen. I, I don't need the back pads. I don't need the, the accolades. I just thank God this morning because I could have been dead, y'all. Shot up from 175 over 110 to 205 over 115. It just kept on going up, and I, I was so, I, being honest, I was so scared. I ain't know what to do, y'all. I, I, I just. I just called on God. And I call on him till I just I just got numb. Next thing I know, I was in a, a private room. 
and they were saying that we admitted you. And the doctor said, son, had you not come? There's no telling what could have happened. So I thank God this morning that the love that I found was the love of God against all odds. I stayed with the Lord. He healed me. He delivered me. They looked at me and said, your kidneys is shot. And in the midst of it, we don't know what to do. And I went to start praying and said, Lord, this is your body. This is your, your servant calling you. And they, they, and they kept on coming in. They had a team of doctors coming in and said, you know, we just don't understand what's going on with you. And I said to God, God, it's your time. Y'all, let me tell you. God got me out of there. I got to a, a place of solitude. And I said, Lord, if you tell me I can look through my heels from which cometh my help. Help, I need you now. And y'all, help showed up and showed up. Oh, yes, it did. I'm healed. No dialysis, no, no medication. They found that my blood pressure medication was wrong. <laughs> oh, grace to God. And they changed it. And my legs started to heal. I mean, swell. My legs swole. Lord, it in my thigh. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at my leg. Hallelujah. The same thing they said was going to be gone in 13. But God. <laughs> I seen the hand of God. Healed, delivered, and He set me free. I can walk. I can talk. I'm happy. The enemy tried to. When I got home last night, the enemy tried to hold me down. And my sister daughter came and visited me. And after, I, after she left, and I was thanking God. The enemy tried to take my tongue and, and, and fatten it and turn it. I don't know if you ever felt your body just doing stuff that you can't control. And I started speaking to God in an unknown tongue. And man, look at him. He came in my bedroom and just... <laughs> oh.
Special travel of grace and mercy for my family and everyone that's been around back from the Dallas and other places. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the miracles that you are doing in all night. We thank you for the love that you have showered upon us. Lord, we ask that you continue to hold us close as we leave this place and of your presence. Lord and Son, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.